Also a little add-on to that. Um, I, I spend a lot of time with people. I spend a lot of time talking to people, working uh, in the job that I do. Am I work in a restaurant as a server? I also spend a lot of time just approaching random girls that I find attractive. And I'm usually like, hey, what's up? And, you know, we chat and whatever. And, um, and then I live with two roommates. They're pretty you know, very outgoing dudes, and we all, like, talk and shoot, shoot shit, um, but what I like to do when I'm in, like, this kind of, like, yin, like, going inside period, I, I kind of just, like, just, I detach a little bit from, from the flow of everything, and it allows me to recuperate a little bit better, like, from their, like, it's fun going along with their stuff, like, when I have, like, energy, when I'm, uh, in it, ready to go. And it's just like it's a joy to go play with them, but sometimes like I'm not, just not in that in that state to go to go play, and I feel much better just like kind of detaching, allowing them to do their stuff, not really interfering with it. But then again, just taking space for me in my space, you know, maybe shutting my door, listening to my own music, uh, something that's soothing for me or joyful for me <laughs> on the inside, and I find this helps a lot. So those are my tips for the day on the yin recovery cycle so you can knock your yang out of the park tomorrow. Oh, and basically yin is just like going inside and like retreating almost, and yang is like the outward force, the bam, if you're not familiar with uh, Chinese philosophy, which is cool. cool. Alright, that's it for today. I am going to get going here for reals this time.